Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to highlight a particular widget and show the use to your users. Maybe you just created a very fantastic app, but it somehow looks complicated and then you want to show your users what each button stands for, what the function of a button is, what the function of a picture, a particular widget is in your app. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to do that. And for this tutorial, you need this package called the Showcase View and sharply install that in your postpress.yaml file. And without wasting time, if you are new, you can subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So as you know, you import the Showcase View package in your app. And here yeah, I just have my stateless widgets with my material app and my scaffold. So let's create a body for that. And in my body, I'll be having the Showcase widgets so this showcase widget will be what is wrapping around all the widgets you want to showcase like it's just like a material app which is showing that it is using the material ui in your flutter app or like the cupertino which is using the cupertino ui in your flutter app so this showcase widget is just to show that it's wrapping around all the widgets you want to showcase so yeah i have my builder for my builder we take context all right and then i'll direct it to the page in which i want to showcase my widgets now i have not created that yet so let me create that it will be a stateful widget and it will be called show and you can see the error is gone so here i also have my scaffold scaffold and i'll have my app bar which will be my app bar so in my app bar i would love to have my title const text and then i'll have maybe showcase this widget i'll have my trailing let me see i have my leading and my actions so in the leading i have an icon too icon should be icons dot let's just choose one ac unit and then in my actions i'll have something too so i can also have a button here icon an icon i mean icons dot abc all right and i also love to have a floating action button so let's call it a floating action button floating action button floating action button here Nothing happens when we press it, and then let's have okay. Sorry about this. And then I'll have my child, which should be an icon too. Icons dot alarm. All right, and if I should run this app. As you can see, this is the app and it does not showcase anything. So how do we add it here? Let me remove the debug banner so that this will the icon we show. So debug to false. Okay. And then we can see. So the thing we need to do now is to wrap each of the icons we want to showcase in a showcase widget. So for example, this wrap with showcase. Alright, and there are some parameters needed like the key. We need a key and we need the description. So let's wrap this around to the leading. Wrap with showcase. And add your key 
and the description and the third one in my icon here showcase key and description so do it for all the widgets you want to showcase showcase key description all right oh i wrapped the wrong widget so it should be my text showcase and we have a key and description key description all right so now we have all this it's time to create our key so i'll have my global key and i can call the first one one equals to global key global key the next one since i have four widgets i'm showcasing so i'll create four of these global keys global key global key three equals to global key and global key four equals to global key okay so let's have them here one two three four okay and let's add our description so the description will be a text so i can say this is the leading icon this is is the app bar title app title this is the trailing this is the trailing and also for your description you can have a title let's see that yeah you can have a title so you can say floating button and this is a floating button okay now if i should restart my app nothing happens yet and why is that because we have not specified when we want the showcase to start now since i want my showcase to start anytime i run the app or anytime i restart the app i'll have an init function and here i'll have widget binding dot instance dot add post frame callback and there inside there we'll specify the event we want to trigger so i'll say showcase widgets dot of context dot start showcase and inside there we have the global keys we have created so since i've created four i have the four inside there one two three and the last one four okay and if i should restart it let's wait for this you can see 
it is highlighting the particular widget now if i click on it it will go to the next widget to the next widget and then the last one with the title and we can see the showcase widget so this is how to do the tutorial for your showcase if you enjoyed this tutorial kindly subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next lesson